Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to Bioprototype. There's been some updates since I played. It's been a couple weeks. Um, one thing I noticed is that it looks like I don't have access to organ... Uh, organs. I don't have access to wings or lungs anymore. Also, they added uh, stomach, which is new. Um, I've also beaten stage five, so I don't know like what's happened with my progress, but I know we need to beat the game with one brain. Um, on, I, I don't even know what, we're just going to do, we're just going to do stage one just to get some unlocks and maybe do some nonsense and see what's up with the game since we haven't played in a while. Uh, it's very weird to me that progress got reset. Let me mouse off the screen. Seems like an odd choice, but whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but the game looks a little crisper than before. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, the Horn of Dino Pantha is new. Um, we, we only have one brain with this character too, though, so that matters. Also, the game is not full screen. Just a second. Okay, I have no options here. Well, never mind. Um. We already have swordfish, so let's just double down on swordfish. Nerve of the meerkat, that's new. Activate the right side organ when the left side hits a boss or elite. That seems terrible. Activate the right side and make it crit while the effects of the left side organ expire. Huh. Interesting. I guess. Yeah, this isn't gonna work at all. Maybe we could switch these two. Yeah, that that works. Um, let me. Can I hit escape here and like change the settings, please, to to full screen? Okay, it's full screen now. I don't know what that was all about. Um. This is very slow, but I do get the double attack. I don't know if that's really worth it. Because they're also spawning so far away that when they come back, they're not really hitting anything, which is kind of funny. It's like kind of a rebounding shot. Uh, not very efficient. We can do something better. Belly, no, tentacle. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. Oh, they reduced reroll costs at the beginning. That's good. Activate the right side organ and prevent it from dealing critical sight strikes. That's a new Coachella. Nerve of the Clown. Activate the right side organ when the left side hits an uninjured enemy. Okay, Nerve of the Clown is nuts. Um, I'm gonna take the spine too. Okay, let me. Give me this. Get this out of here. Do this. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. For sure. Um, I assume all of these are still starting at 50. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, the power of the clown. New enemies? Yeah, as long as we one-shot the enemies, it doesn't matter. We just get... Well, and it's like high efficiency okay whatever yeah if you guys haven't seen this game before it's wild as far as the weapon combos and apparently it's become much more wild it's kind of a mad scientist game which is fantastic if you're into that sort of thing evil genius simulator origin story Oh, white fox, skeleton, I don't This is just a sword. Um, I do think we're probably going to want this spine at some point. Horn of the unicorn. Just the lightning. I don't think we're going to want these horns. I'm going to reroll one time. Oh, gem rats. <laughs> gem rat. Germ rat is pretty good. Then we have a fire belly. None of these have uh, 
uh, connectors though. So that was kind of funky. This is typically better in my experience. It's the Nova. And then we can go here over here and get pickup range. Pickup range, yeah. Um, I think that your base pickup range is really low, so it really helps to like actually pick everything up. Because you leave a lot of stuff on the ground in this game. If you don't. Uh, this is a ridiculous combo. Just actually machine gunning down everything. So this, this uh, character I'm playing is basically, you only get one brain, but um, my damage is doubled. So I, I wouldn't normally be doing this much damage, but I also would be able to like do other things. Uh, for example, this heart would be pretty good. However, I can't take it or like I can't actually use it. I'm going to take it so I can sell it, but I can't really use it. Um, with this build at all. Uh, Nerf of the Raptor is okay, but probably can do better. I feel like Retina of the Raven is going to be very good. Because then we get to do this. And so every time this contributes to a kill, it's going to activate this, which is going to shoot more of these. And then maybe that can link to a another what you call it another germ rat we have our base damage effective radius that seems good it seems good since we're doing explosions yeah yeah i'm i'm a fan of this We need another germ rat so we get explosions off the ricochet. There's also, of note, there's health bars uh, for elites. I'm assuming bosses too. Very nice touch. That did not. That was not there when this game came out. They've up. They've put in quite a few patches in the past month, uh, which is very promising. This is a. This game has an extremely cool premise. Uh, as far as the, you know, bullet heaven, roguelike survival, whatever, vampire survivors genre you want to call it, uh, it's one of the more interesting ones. In a good way. Uh, we got all of these. That's kind of absurd. Uh, same thing with this nerve. So. I found like the bellies do better in higher difficulties where you randomly get uh, things to come after them. On the on the earlier difficulties, it doesn't really make sense. Remember, we're playing at an early difficulty just for the unlock right now. Uh, Mammoth is whatever. I guess we could take this Horn of the Unicorn just in case. I definitely want the Nerve of the Clown. Uh, we could take an intestine. Maybe we'll use it. No, let's roll. Maybe we do better. Mm. We're trying to do better. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So we can put this here. And now we can have lightning. Uh, I guess that's what we'll have to do for now. We need brain capacity to go up for sure, but let's do movement speed and then organ quality. I don't know if organ quality is a good value anymore because it used to be like some absurd. You'd get like 100% organ quality, but now it's like 2%, so I don't know.
Hmm. The lightning doesn't seem bad. Seems like it's doing quite a bit of damage. I mean, its attack speed is based off the the spine, so... Huh. Pretty strong. I guess the downside right now is the clown is not rocking because the lightning is killing things too fast. For the most part. I don't think it's really a downside. We're kind of just like strolling through here. But it's a little bit funny. We didn't do well for income that wave. I'm gonna roll. No, I don't want any of those. Tentacle of the Beetle's pretty good, but no thanks. It's gonna take the retina. Sworn of the Demon. Strike enemies with lightnings when activated. Every Lorgan. Every Lorgan. Why is it so hard to say things? Um, I'm just gonna take this one. Okay, can we do... This into... No, doesn't really work. Let's do this. And wait, where's the horn? Yeah, I want this. So now it's going to be a explosion and the horn of the unicorn, whatever it, this hits an uninjured enemy. That seems fine. Uh, I'll just save. I need to expand up my brain capacity. So we're quite good against cords, pretty bad against, uh, I guess, anything that survives our first volley, which doesn't seem to be much by the look of it. And even if it does, it gets some collateral damage. take those demon horns that were on the ground. The game des definitely looks crisper than it used to. I don't know what they did. But color me impressed. This is a much more profitable wave than the last one. I guess last wave we did find a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, like, organs that we weren't going to use, so we could have just sold all those. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't really want this spine. I'm trying not to roll too much. Oh, strike enemies with lightning... Every organ located between this organ and the brain increases the damage. Oh. Okay, we're going to take it for science purposes. Uh, but I don't know. Take this Coachella of the Owl just in, ch it, just in case. And Tentacle of the Beetle. Okay, here we go. Take brain capacity. For sure. And then organ drop rate. I don't really know about any of this. Take crit chance range okay back to the science part of the game we sell some things now recycle 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 at 400 how much does it cost for the next spot it takes 500 um 
I don't really want to sell 500 worth of stuff right now, I don't think. I mean, we could. For sure. I'm going to do... Oh, that didn't work. That was bad. Let's do this. Is this crazy? I just want to see. Uh, I don't like that so much. Let's let's go back uh, to this guy. And the oh wait, we could switch this. Oh no, you can't switch it. Okay. We could just use Horn of the Demon. Just, just raw like that. I guess that makes sense. Whatever. Let's just rock this and see how it goes. Ow. Seems to be fine. Really just need more um, brain capacity, right? As much as we can get. Also be good if we can make the boomerangs uh, trigger some type of explosion or something on hit. But not like conditional on hit, just like an always on hit sort of deal. I heard something drop. I don't know if I picked up an organ or whatnot, but I definitely heard it. Also, this is like... I guess we started with 400 materials, so... Not the craziest wave. Also, UI decision, I just want to point out how good Rotato is here. By putting the XP bar and other materials and all the stuff in the top left of the screen, as opposed to splitting it between the bottom left and the top left, like, I have a decent size monitor, so, like, I actually have to glance at both. So, like, it's kind of distracting having it so far apart. Um, can we get something, like, better? Here. Seems to be all terrible choices. Retina of the Vulture. You don't say. I'm taking that. Dragon Tentacle. I love that. Um, jellyfish is cool. Nerve of the Jellyfish. I should, that's new. There we go. Okay. Okay. Game changer. Needs more capacity, you say? Get this, get this out of here. Um. So now, when this hits an uninjured enemy, it launches the Nova. When the Nova contributes to a kill, we're going to have some stuff going on. This seems fine. I am okay with that. And then, I think I want to level base damage. Crit damage, yeah, that's probably fine. Highly recommend, if you haven't played this game before, testing builds before you uh, 
go into the next wave if you make big changes, you'll find that sometimes you will break your character and lose a run on that. For example, I'm really bad against elites because I can't, uh, you know, if something's injured, I don't do any damage to it. So I just have to attack things that aren't injured. Which thankfully there's always quite a bit. Good. Good, the chaos. This is all up of one brain. Come on, pack, pack those things. There you go. Ow, I got too close. There's an arrow now for materials on the ground. That's incredible. And by materials, I mean organs. This game's come a long way. Holy moly. Of those. I don't care about these. Too like Nerve of the Clown. I like the idea of having a bunch of them too. Oh, Nerve of the Boxer is great. Uh, let's take two of those. Culture, get grain capacity up. Mutation, we have so many. It makes these really strong versus the boxer, which is just like a guaranteed hit. Maybe what we should be doing is doing this. But I don't think this is going to directly kill an enemy that often, right? Like that seems unlikely. I don't think we're going to be able to sell enough here to actually get us to the next like set that we need. Maybe what we do. Is instead of this. We have this. Oh, but that caps it. No, that's no good. When... I'm just thinking how we can trigger this further. We could trigger the boxer. And then have that trigger the lightning. Let's try that instead of that one. I, I don't... I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. And then we can just do, like, take damage up. Just in case. Um... This seems to be working. seems to be working quite well. Everything's just dying. Boss time? I do love that the boss is just straight up just a dragon with a bull arm. Absolutely wrecked him. Get out of my game. I'm the king mutation here. It'd be interesting if you like changed appearances. Like you evolved like a like a friggin' Pokemon.
imagine. Okay, um, these are all things I've seen before. Yellow tentacle of the coral is great. I don't think we want to deal with any bladders while we're um, taking, you know, we're trying to deal with this. Brain capacity, we gotta sell something. Um, just get rid of this. Brain capacity up. I don't know how great this was working. Do it like this. But it's kind of sketchy. I think it might make more sense to do this. Get rid of this. Explode, then when this hits an enemy, it triggers this. Then when that starts spinning, it triggers this on hit, and then it just starts spamming these other things. But it all starts on this hitting an uninjured, en uninjured enemy, which maybe we could do something better than that. Like, maybe that would be better. Or honestly, maybe maybe this, this would be better. Oh, this has chain three. Whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This doesn't really do all that much. Um, do this. Okay, I'm I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. Honestly, at this point, I just need more enemies. So now our main attack bounces. It says three times. It says chain three. I don't know if that means it bounces three times or how exactly that works. Or if there's one bounce per projectile. But it's bouncing. When it hits an uninjured enemy, it's going to explode. The explosion causes the orbiting dragon thing to proc every time. And every time that hits, it causes an explosion and the lightning bolt. That seems good. That seems very, very strong. So I was saying, mad scientist game. Look at this. Ow. Problem is sometimes I'm not sure who I've injured yet, so if I can't like run towards anybody. Just assume everybody's been touched. Two two spines of the white blocks. Um I think a retina of the raven. I guess we take this one. Hello spine of the chimp, huh? Okay. So right now we have a jackal, which is every 88.81. I think we're just going to change it to this. And I think what I want to do... Actually... is
Yeah, I want to change it so that this procs every time, whether they're injured or not. So we get the full effect over here. And Horn of Lightning can just continue to do its thing, right? Um, but then on this side, I want... I want to use this Retina of the Raven, but I don't think we're at a spot where we can really put it anywhere. Um, maybe we just save for more capacity. Yeah, this is going to be better. It's just guaranteed to proc every time. As opposed to only off uninjured enemies. It, I mean, the explosion's much weaker, but that's okay. All we really want is to get the uh, dragons going, and then it's just you know, smooth sailing from there. And this is just with one brain. Imagine the possibilities with multiple, and I don't even know like what stomach does. I know what wings and lungs do. Lungs is the aura and wings is a buff. I don't know why those are still locked for me, but... Or why they've been relocked, I guess I should say. Very odd. Locking content that you've unlocked, I don't quite understand that, but you know, it is what it is. I do think the one problem with this game is the runs are a little long. Personally, for... Um, Corn of the Unicorn with the Vessel. Just taking yellows at this point. Uh, yeah, because this is Horn of the Unicorn, and uh, this is with a vessel, so now when it contributes to a kill, it can proc um, another Horn of the Unicorn. Yeah, yep, that seems that seems like what we want to do, and we can just go ahead and sell, like, a bunch of these things. We don't really want our need probably get one more brain capacity too i don't think there's anything i guess we could put another horn of the unicorn here now we're just gonna have a bunch of lightning everything's just dying now I'm curious from what they they did add a damage counter um, to Oregon so I can see which what's like actually doing things after this wave. Hopefully I remember. But it does seem like things are a little bit better now. Maybe. I mean, I'm pretty sure this wins the run, right? Like, I can't imagine it doesn't. We just found two demon horns. Like, two yellow demon horns, so that's probably pretty good. At least it seems good. Another yellow organ pickup. Oh, look at the dragons. Amazing. Yeah, uh, 
I'm just gonna keep taking yellow items. I'm not even gonna worry about it at this point. So what what actually happened? This did 63,000 damage. Uh, this did 244 and this did 220. So this didn't really work. When the left side contributes to a kill, I don't think it contributed. I think it just got a bunch of kills. So maybe this isn't the answer. Maybe you do this and then try, um, try that. You throw that one on there. Uh, let's see what other things. This did 20 damage. Oh no. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I was looking at that wrong. Last wave. They did. Oh, I think it's just gone now. Now that it's in here. Oh well. I did 10,000 last wave, the 12,000, 12,000. Yeah, we don't expect these to do a lot. It's just that they're going to hit a lot. When this hits an enemy, so. We can replace this germ rat with something. I mean, the poison bag's okay. I mean, it did 10,000 damage. That seems pretty good. We could just throw a... Uh, throw a horn right here. Like, that's not unreasonable. Also, the crit chance is absurd. Yeah, I don't hate it. Then we could, what we could do is we can, I'm gonna up the effective radius and then crit damage and go from there. It just works. I will say it is harder with the lightning to tell which things are like actually going off. So it's good that there's a damage counter at the end of each wave. I mean, I guess some things aren't really going to work very well either because all the enemies are just dead. Everything's just dead. Yeah, I, I don't... This is a simple character, though, too. Like, we don't get to do any buffs, so we don't get to do any, like, AoE nonsense, like, this procs off this debuff and, like, stack this debuff, and then enemies explode, and then... steal their soul type of nonsense builds, but... He's pretty good at, like, learning the game. Learning how to build a good brain, which is... Honestly, the the hardest part of this is figure, learning how to actually make it work. This is a lot. I'm just taking Nerve of the Clown. Just all the clowns we can get. So we're on the last wave, so I guess we just take damage. Probably. Yeah, max brain capacity. I don't really know what we're doing that's better here. I guess we can switch this for you know, try and replace these with uh, any better one we can. Um, not really seeing anything all that much better here. So last wave, this only did 3,200 damage. Is 
is not great. So we could remove this, I guess. It'd be great if we had, uh, something different there. Maybe. Ooh, when that contributes to a kill. What if you were to fire off a another dragon? Is it is that too much? Is that too much? No, this is fine. Whatever. We don't need to mess with something that's working already. As expected, our single target, not so great, but we don't really have to worry about getting run over because uh, AoE is more important. Now in wave five, I think there's four bosses or whatever. Oh, also the run ends when you kill the boss. I love that. We unlock stomach. Yay. What does it even do? Where even is it in the stomach? Organs. Great. Those, those being locked are great. I don't see it. I want to know what the stomach does. I guess I have to go and like find it. Oh well, next time. Next episode. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed the video and want to see what stomach does next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. One, two, all three of those preferably. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Later.